My name is Natasha Pistano Rice and I'm here to show you how to eat well, live well and love well. This is my go-to recipe when I have a busy day ahead and I just want to come home, relax and dig in. It's my oolong marinated Australian barramundi with smashed potatoes and a pinch of spinach. We're going to start with the oolong tea marinade. The thing I love about oolong tea is that it's not necessarily green tea or a black tea. It's a unique oxidation balance between the both. And that's what gives it its full body and unique flavor. The first thing we're going to put into our pan is two thirds a cup of soy sauce. I like to use tamari because it's gluten free and normally has a bit of a lower salt content. We're going to add two cups of water. What the water does, it kind of balances out all the flavors. Half a cup of brown sugar. Stubborn brown sugar. Here we go. I like to use brown sugar over white because it's more of a raw, natural, nutty and molasses kind of flavor that brings a real depth to the fish in the end. One tablespoon of garlic and two tablespoons of chopped ginger. Never mind the chunky bits because before we eat it, we're going to strain it. So that's all going to disappear. Like when you open the lid off this, all you can smell is the aromatics. I know that's going to infuse directly into the fish. So to this, we're going to add two heaped teaspoons of oolong tea. We're going to bring this to a boil and lower it down to a slow simmer for about 10 minutes. So each ingredient can release its oils so when we put it on top of the fish, we're getting the best out of everything. So while we have this simmering on low for 10 minutes, I'm going to prepare the side dish, which is a smashed potatoes. Super simple and effortless, which is exactly what I like. Just grab a baking tray and a couple of Yukon gold potatoes. I like these because they're creamy, they're buttery and they cook super fast. I'm going to throw these babies in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes on 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that this has been simmering for 10 minutes, I'm going to take it off the heat and let it cool down. I'm going to let my barramundi come up to room temperature so it can fully absorb all of the flavors. I love this barramundi because it's fresh, it's convenient, it's well proportioned and it's so easy to use. Especially for those who don't like that fishy taste, barramundi is more of like a steak and potatoes kind of guy. Take this and just pour this oolong tea marinade directly over the fish from top to toe. Look at this, it's beautiful, it's rich, it's dark. I can see the beautiful lines of fat that's permeating through here. And even though in a four ounce piece, you only have about two grams of fat, this boasts 24 grams of protein, which is just incredible. Take the fish, and just pop it in the pan. Put the balance of the marinade in and as you can see how much has just been absorbed by the fish. And this is the simplest mashed potato you're ever gonna make. To this we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter, just a touch of cream and a pinch of salt. I like to use heavy whipping cream instead of milk with my mashed potatoes because I figured if we're going to go there, let's go there. We're going to heap on the oven roasted smashed potatoes, just like that. I'm going to make a little dent in the middle, a few leaves of spinach, not too many because we don't want to overpower it. And then we're going to come in for this amazing fish. I'm going to garnish it with some matchsticks of ginger that I lightly fried in some grapeseed oil earlier on today. And what that does is creates a little bit of a texture difference between the potato, the fish and your mouth. Let's find out how this tastes. Mmm. This is delicious. That beautiful soy, the aromatics of the ginger and the garlic. I sense a hint of sweetness and then this oolong tea just ties it all together in such the perfect way. You guys don't need to watch me eat this right now. I just want you to download the recipe and make this tonight for your loved ones. This is just decadence 
meets delicacy and deliciousness all in one bite. Just go to natashapastanorice.com to download the recipe and enjoy it. And remember, stay yummy, my friends.